but we start with KEZI 9 News reporter Amber Wilmarth live in Corvallis where Highway 34 is closed. But Amber, you're being told some of the water levels are beginning to at least recede a little bit. Well, that's right, Matt Renee. Some of the water levels are lower than they were the day before, but as you can see behind me, they're still very high. Highway 34 is completely flooded in this section right near Corvallis. But we did get an update from ODOT tonight. They're telling us that they're preparing to move the eastern end of the closure to Peoria Road, which is just right down this stretch. So that's the good news. And they are beginning to clean up as the water gets lower. But I spoke to many people coming out here, walking from downtown Corvallis today to get a look at this site in person. They tell me this is something that will go down in history. Just crazy, destructive, and just wiping everything out. It's crazy. On Highway 34, almost anywhere you look, there's water and a lot of it. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Not even close. And we've been around here since, what, the 60s. And, mm -hmm. yeah, it's terrible. Lou and Kathy Orsi grew up in Corvallis, and they, like many others, walked from downtown to this road closure to soak in the view for themselves. Came yeah. down to check it out and, and see it firsthand. The view from the sky is impressive, too. Take a look at this video that ODOT shot, showing the flooding along 34 and in Corvallis. This is why Benton County has declared a local emergency. This will allow the county to be reimbursed if the damage exceeds a certain dollar amount. So now we're taking a look at our high priority roads and doing damage assessments, particularly for the roads have been underwater, any type of debris and ditches, culverts against bridges, and then trying to make some immediate repairs as soon as possible to get those roads up and running again. She says the last time they declared a disaster was in 2012, also due to flooding. It's too soon to say when this highway will open, but for Lou, knowing everyone is safe is enough. Hopefully everybody's okay and we'll get through it. And ODOT crews are telling us that they are working to open one lane in each direction, but again, they have to wait for those water levels to go down. But the latest information is that they're moving the eastern end of the closure to Peoria Road right down this stretch of 34. And another note from the county, they did want to give a big tip of safety tonight. Again, turn around, don't drown. They say even though the water is getting lower, it's still not safe to go into or to drive through. Matt Renee.